Hey everybody, welcome back to kit number two. And in today's episode, we're gonna be making what I call the automated cooker system <laughs> is gonna be the best thing I got for it. But in this episode, we're going to be building the part of the furnace system that will put items into the top slot of the furnace to be cooked. Now this system will only send off the minecart when there is items to be cooked and it is a very smart system. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So let's build this thing. To start off, the platform you're gonna need for the actual redstone and mechanics behind it is gonna be a seven long, <laughs> seven long by four wide and by four tall indicated by these green blocks. So let's go ahead and put in our furnace, like furnaces like we we're gonna cook them, right? So I know this is going out beyond the area, but the assumption is you're going to have this built and you're going to want to automate this part of it. So I'm just putting the automation part to be as part of the length that's behind the scenes. So then we put the hoppers going down into the items because this is going to cook the items in the top, right? So, oh, no, wrong button. So we want to go out beyond here. We want to do the same setup as last time and put these right here because this is going to what's this is what's going to kick the redstone back or kick the minecart back to the area so put these going across here like so and then we have this one which is going to be a put a block here for the detect rail a block here for an extra rail and a block here for the power rail so power rail detector rail regular rail and then we need a block to stop it and then going into this we need to have our comparator facing our, our hopper facing into that and then where we're going to put our items right on top of that hopper so now for the redstone we want to put a repeater coming out where this uh detector rail is at then we want a redstone repeater repeater there redstone there there's going to be a, a piston right there to push this block into that slot then we have a repeater right there a block right there and a repeater right there now you can have as many repeaters or whatever you need for timing issues, but we'll talk about that when we explain the redstone a little bit. So let's go back here. We need to put a comparator coming out of the hopper right here. Comparator coming out. And then we need to have a redstone right or a repeater right there to grab that and extend it. Uh, a block going into a repeater a <laughs> repeater going into a block right there. And then we're gonna pull that back out with some redstone. And I miscounted here, we need to go out here one more block so it's going to be eight wide so then we bring redstone right around there and then we're going to have a piston right there a repeater right there block on top of there repeater going on back <laughs> back there and going into that block right there which the cart sits on top of that so just to give you guys a quick little screenshot opportunity right here we got comparator coming out of the hopper Repeater going into a block going around this redstone repeater right here Piston right there block right there going into this repeater going into this block and then another screenshot opportunity for you right there And then of course we can't forget the mine cart. So once this is the completed design you put items into it And it's gonna send off the mine cart accordingly. Oh Forgot we need to have this repeater at four ticks. So there we go now it should send it off when we put items in it. There we go. And that is the completed working design. Now let's explain this a little bit, shall we? So we needed, the whole concept behind this was we needed some way to fill these up, but I, I don't want this thing constantly running, right? So we put the items into this chest. It sends, it then goes into this hopper, right? It's gonna detect that there's an item in this hopper. So it sends an item out, sends a uh, signal out but we need this circuit right here to be completed so that whenever a minecart decides it's coming back so when it comes from over there and comes back it sends out a signal so that it will send out this minecart again because it knows it's a minecart sitting here waiting but we only want that minecart to be sent when there's items that need to be cooked that are in this hopper so that's what this is for this circuit only gets completed to send off this rail again when this line is active and the only time this line is active is when there's items in the hopper so but we needed it to send it off the very first time right 
because this detector rail has to get detected for it to be sent back. So the way we make up for that is by having this one tick pulse right here come from this repeater or from this piston and block system. So once this once an item gets into that hopper, this gets activated, right? It sends this signal through here, which sends that piston up, piston up and extends this right here with this repeater, goes into here to power that, which powers that power rail. So the first time it first time it gets items, as we can see, first time it gets items, that gets activated to send that off. Now every other time, this isn't going to get activated because this is up, so it's not getting a redstone signal. That's where this comes in this in the effect. You see, every time it comes across and goes back. So that's where you can adjust these lengths of these repeaters is so that if you want it to sit here and collect more items, it will do so. And that's how I do it on my, on my LP is that every time I have this extended so that it can grab enough items to fill up these also watch. We should be able to get one in this back one right here. See, that goes up. So this is a little long because it ends up getting more than the items I want. Let's see, I think. Nope, gets exactly five. So then it will dispense an item to each one of those. So that's this system in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed. And like always, dream big.